Uh, good evening. Uh, I would like to speak about uh, genetic possibilities and genetic borders uh, if people are training uh, bodybuilding. There are two possibilities in bodybuilding. One is the band possibility, which is a possibility to train with the help of anabolics stanozolol or other anabolics, oxandrolone, and then uh, you have practically uh, put the genetic maximum level of your body much higher as the natural uh, genetic level, but it's not natural, it's not healthy in a long run. It might work uh, in a frame of several years but when you come to the age of 40, 45 or 50 years then you have a lot of problems and these problems can be intestinal problems, stomach problems, heart problems, liver problems. Uh, many uh, great bodybuilders uh, were operated uh, and uh, we're having really heavy problems and this is not excluding names like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger or uh, Mr. Metzner who unfortunately died and it was a great bodybuilder. He admitted to use the anabolics. Another discussion is uh, to reach uh, a maximum genetic level for a human body training bodybuilding when it is absolutely natural with help of natural products which means meals regular protein or carbohydrates meals and also nutrition uh, help means like for example creatine uh, or uh, protein in powder whey protein, etc. Getting to a maximum genetic level uh, everybody from us uh, can reach with a good training, good meals, a good uh, lifestyle uh, means sleeping 7-8 hours not doing excess in alcohol and uh, generally in, in your life. Many people uh, are going to the gym just uh, every day, every week to get a, uh, a bulk which is uh, better or bigger as the last week. This is not good. Uh, training bodybuilding is a lifestyle. So either you choose a lifestyle or you choose another lifestyle. The bodybuilding lifestyle as it was teached uh, by the biggest bodybuilders in 50s like uh, John Grimek, Eiferman or 60s like Steve Reeves or other bodybuilders, Chuck Sipes, is that uh, even if you reach the genetic maximum level of your body you have to train you have to continue to train and maybe uh, getting the high level of the muscle quality which means that the size is not so important your body cannot get a bigger size as the genetics the hormones are uh, determining you can reach a uh, uh, deep muscle uh, quality so that your muscles are very effective and not only when you are young but especially when you are older so if you start training at about 25 or 30 you are not training for just showing on the beach your muscles you are training in order to be fit and in the best possible condition when you are 50, 55, 60 and even 70 and more. So the training it's a lifestyle. It's like uh, uh, you take a shower or uh, you educate your children, uh, you study, 
So it's the same thing. It's a part of a good uh, life, uh, means healthy life. And uh, unfortunately, most of the young people today, they go to the gym just to bulk the muscles and not training to be absolutely fit. At the end, I want to tell you uh, one mathematical principle in uh, fitness, sport in general, and bodybuilding. If you get your maximum level, uh, let's say in two, three years training, you can lose a lot from this level when you are three weeks ill. So in three weeks, you can lose maybe six months of work. And to get back into the level you were before the illness, you need double time. So be careful. You have to train. You have to train uh, three, four times a week. You have to train reasonably, not to take extreme weights, just to last in the time because now you are 30 or now you are 40 but very soon you will be 50 or 60 or 65 like I am and I train four times a week I am in a very good condition as for uh, physical possibilities I am absolutely independent and in the gym I train with uh, excitement and with very correct weights still if I compare to the younger people. So don't speak, don't think about weights, don't think, don't speak about size of your muscles, but think always to be top fit on your personal individual level. Thank you for listening and have a nice training. Bye.